what's up guys i'm here with a new video and in this video we'll see how to install microsoft sql server on docker container now to install microsoft sql server there is one document if you see microsoft uh, let me open that document as well i'll put this document in the chat window as well so i was talking about this link as you can see so once you open this document you will land up on this page where we will see options like run sql server linux container image with docker so we have couple of options where you can install this particular image we have bash we have powershell command so depending on your requirement you can select and also each steps has been guided below so i have also created one complete document uh, you can just click on that link as well where you will visit my website and i have shown you a step by step guidance on how to do that okay so all this requirement is mentioned in the document and prerequisites is also uh, present here so whatever is the requirement uh, to run this particular sql server image all the things will be visible here how to install the sql server you can do it using cli or cmd so i'll show you in this video as well so i'll put this uh, link in the chat window sorry description so you can just uh, go through this document and run this container okay so i'll just guide you with that so first what you have to do is first we have to install the docker container go to the docker website and hit this uh, download docker desktop so we have couple of options here so for windows we have amd64 arm64 so depending on the requirement you can select in my case i will go with amd64 so i'll just hit download let's see so it is 464 mb and it is downloaded uh, let me install this so i'll just double click and the installation will start it may take time depending on your system specifications so as you can see so just uh, leave it default hit ok so all the pack packages will install as you can see here the docker desktop has been installed and now if i take you to that docker desktop and if i open this accept the terms and condition here you can go with the default setting and hit finish as you can see the docker is open now if you want you can sign in here so i'll skip next if you want to take the survey you can take it in my case i'll just click next and as you can see i am into my docker home page i am into docker desktop home page and here we have couple of options so first we have to do is to get the sql server image and then we'll run that in our container okay so to get the image as you remember we were looking at one of the document from microsoft let me open that so this was the document if you remember and if you see here pull and run the sql server linux container image so what you have to do is we have two options here so if you are using any other you know command tool you can use that as well but if you click on this link and copy this bash command as you can see here hit copy and go back to your docker container once you go to your docker container uh, sorry the docker desktop so under the image you will find this option you know terminal i mean to say in the home page itself you will find this terminal click on that terminal will open let me enable this so once you enable as you can see everything is set up now now what i have to do is i have to paste that particular command which i just copied from that microsoft document so as you can see now it will pull the docker image and i will hit enter so as you can see it started downloading so depending on your internet speed it will download in my case as you can see my internet speed is quite huge but i'm not sure why it is slow here but uh, if you see the total size it will be approximately you know 700 or 800 mb as you can see the installation is complete and our docker image is present here if i close this particular term one, terminal you can see this particular microsoft sql image 22 is present here now what we have to do is to make use of this we have to first mount it this particular image to the container otherwise we can't use that so to do that again what we have to do is go to terminal okay hit terminal and again if you go back to this microsoft document and you if you scroll down a bit you will see this bash command where it says docker run so everything will be same here apart from this particular password okay make sure you don't uh, make any changes here because as you can see in this particular important notification the sa password environment variable is deprecated use ms sql password so already in the code they have specified so you have to just make sure you should change your password here until unless you are more familiar with docker okay so in my case i'll just copy this particular thing copy and i will change the password here so uh, if you if you want to explain here there is nothing much here but it is just accepting the terms and condition then specifying the password here and then running on the specific port if you want you can change change that port as well and naming the host name and then finally getting the you know image to the container okay so this is pretty simple so i'll just copy this okay and i will open one notepad to make the you know password changes so let me paste here 
and let me increase the size a bit here so as you can see i have made the changes here i have given my password and this will look like this uh, and i will put this as well in the description you can directly run by changing the password so i'll just copy this the changes which i made and i'll go back to my docker and i will put this particular bash command here and i'll hit enter so as you can see at the top now under container we have this sql server up and running now we can connect it easily and as we told this is the password which i am going to use to connect to my microsoft sql server which is running on this docker container okay so let me minimize this and our docker container is up and running now we'll try to connect so either you can go with visual studio code or azure data factory so i will show you that as well so we have uh, visual studio code uh, many of you will be familiar so no matter either you are going to use visual studio either you are going to use ssms or azure data factory okay the steps will be same so if you are using ssms you can directly connect by giving the connection string which i will show you within a minute but before that if you are using azure data studio or visual studio we have to use one particular extension so let me quickly go with azure data studio let me download this and if you don't have one you can just download it from the microsoft website i'll put this link as well in the description so let me download this so it is universal installer 64 bit so it is downloaded let me quickly install and show you how we can connect to our microsoft sql mm -hmm. server which is running on our docker container let me finish and launch this particular application and show you how we can connect it let me minimize this and go back to my windows machine here once you open this as you can see this is our home page what you have to do is first if you are in visual studio what you have to do you have to go to extension and search for sql server extension okay you can use any of the sql server extension to connect to a sql server you can also use any other extension if you are familiar with which can connect any any kind of microsoft sql db okay but when you are using azure data studio or ssms you can directly connect it no need of any kind of extension okay so as you can see i am in azure data studio and you just click on this connection okay at the top the first option connections under this you will find servers under servers you can see this plus icon if you hover over your mouse here you can see this new connection click on new connection and now by default the microsoft sql server is selected select that type here and under server name as you remember it is installed on our local machine so i'll type local host or you can also type local 1433 because you remember we have configured our you know uh, docker container on this particular port if you see here 1433 you can use this as well or you can use local host any of the you know server type is fine okay uh, in my case i have only one particular uh, server image so what i'll do is i'll just mention sql host sorry local host and authentication type uh, windows authentication will not work here so we'll select with sql authentication so by default if you remember we ran this particular query so if you just change the password okay and you did not do any kind of changes so by default one sa account will be there for sql server okay we have not created it okay later if you want you can create it but when you install this particular mysql server image or if you also install it on your local machine the actual microsoft sql server you will get one particular sa account and that particular sa account you know in our case it is configured with this password so what i will do is you know i'll just copy this particular thing and in the password section i'll put this and if you are using the same command and you have just changed this particular password so in the sa username type you have to specify sa either it is capital either it is small letters okay so after doing this all our things are set set up so now if you want to select the database you can choose the database in my case i don't have any database the internal database will be there but at present we did not create any kind of database okay so username password everything is done the last step is trust server certificate make sure it is true once everything is done you can just give a name for this once i give this and hit connect you will see our database is connected here okay now if i expand this particular database you can see this is developer edition 64 bit os version ubuntu 24 so this was you know linux uh, if you if you see the image right you will find there if you go to this document so if you want to further deep dive into this about the image properties and all you can go here with this document everything is clearly mentioned here so i'll not go into this so this all these specifications about the docker image sql server docker image and under the security settings you see sorry the system database we have master database model database so these are the default database and if you want to create one new database you just click 
right click new query and here you can you know create one new database create database database name i hope you know the command okay so these are the thing and the security thing which i was talking about if you go under security under logins this was the account which i was specifying and if i show you the version for this uh, we'll do select at the rate version to get the version detail let's see what we get here and we hit run we'll get the you know microsoft sql server 22 uh, developer edition as we already saw this okay getting the docker installing docker then uh, getting the image putting that image in container then connecting with any of the you know tool if you ran into problem you can just put post your comment there or problem with proper screenshot so that i can guide you i hope you like this video you enjoyed this video i will be coming up with similar kind of further videos as well so make sure you subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for upcoming videos we'll see you in next upcoming videos with a new topic